My glass, it is half full today And that's a reason to get pissed I'll drink as much as I can drink And I'll end up in a mess Ninja? I'm surprised my camera does 20 minutes Mine's meant to do 30 minutes yeah. Why is it not doing 30 minutes? I don't know It's even got like the camera cracking I don't know Alrighty So, uh, let's try the, the ninja beer It's a lager <laughs> And... I would argue, you can't really fuck up a lager. Like, lager is not... No, I've, I've drank some pretty horrendous lager. Like, I mean, lager is, uh, you know, it's kind of the... You know, it's a, it's a utility beer. It does all taste the same, generally. Yeah. What was I drinking, though, before? The ones before that I did. Was oh. that not lager? Just, just this? What are you talking about? Oh, the one, oh, what we were drinking before? No, yeah, like the other videos. Uh, sometimes they're lager, sometimes they're pilsner. Cause some of we drink a lot of wheat beer. Some of those were pretty horrendous, man. The ones you hated were the wheat beers. I didn't. We drank a pilsner, the, the Nagoya local pilsner. We both loved it. So. Does, it doesn't smell like anything, so. No. It smells like a ninja. It smells. That's a ninja does Ninja would not like smell like anything. Or may, they'll probably smell like arc. That is a crisp, clear taste. That is crisp. Yes. Clear. Yeah. It really tastes like nothing. It tastes like a fucking ninja. It's like a ninja came in my mouth. Wait a minute. That didn't sound good. It tastes a little bit like cardboard, though. Actually. It's a crisp, clear cardboard. Do you, do you get that? I don't think it has a taste. Have you eaten a little cold? No, I have not. Have you? I'll be known to nibble on a bit of cardboard. When let, let's say you 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 go to the, the supermarket and you you ask him where can I find the cardboard, and the guy goes, "You mean like for like mailing something?" You go, "No, no, no, no! I want to eat this motherfucker." Oh. Where where does he point you? Well, no, I don't fucking go to see him. Obviously not, because that'd be weird. So where where do you, where do you procure your cardboard? Well, from boxes that contain things that I bought. So if like I buy, for example, that doesn't the seem camera so we're shooting this yeah. on yeah. is laminated cardboard. Okay. So I'll I'll probably have a little nibble on it to see what it tastes it, like. That it seems it? somewhat unsanitary. Like I would want a prepackaged. Um, vacuum sealed cardboard if I was going to to eat it you, you don't eat it you just nibble I mean can you get organic cardboard it's all organic man is it okay is it is it a, a free range I mean can the vegans eat it vegans can eat it oh, okay definitely in fact that's all they do eat <laughs> that that and uh, nuts we we had we had this meeting at work the other day and uh, the boss uh, brought snacks for everybody, like cookies and like little cake kind of things. And you're like, where's the fucking cardboard? Corrugated cardboard. No, but it was, it was, I, was thinking of, I was thinking of vegans. One of the girls that I work with is a vegan, and uh, and the boss goes, uh, well, we have like some cakes and cookies left, you know, because uh, here, have whatever you want. And she goes, I can't eat that. She goes, what can you eat? She goes, probably nothing. All I can think is, is she fat? She sounds fat. I hate fat. Here's people. the thing about the vegans fat that vegans. I've noticed, and if any of you are she's vegans, feminist. you're watching. She's a feminist. A fat vegan feminist. Yeah? I don't get how people who are vegans can be gigantic. Like, like gigantic beach ball sized gigantic. I can. Because all they eat is fucking fried potato. That's all they eat. They eat waffles on McDonald's chips. Like a waffle sandwich. No, they can't eat the McDonald's because it's got like animal fat in it. Oh, right, Burger King. I'm pretty sure Burger King has the same problem. I right, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, you're not fucking winning your case here. Wendy's. There's no Wendy's in Japan anymore. Well, probably not Wendy's. Moss Burger. Oh yes, Moss, Moss Burger Moss makes all, makes only everything with cardboard. Well, Moss Burger actually fucks up with the drinks. Like I don't get drinks from them. Mossberger fucks up everything. They fuck up the burgers too. 
Well, that that may be Moss Burger. But that's that's a different taste though. They is, purposely do that shit. Yeah, Moss Burger. The drink, sorry, the drink thing, it goes through one little fucking pipe. So that pipe serves whatever drink you're having. So if you're having orange, the person before you has orange. Oh, uh, so the flavour gets yeah, passed along. Tainted. Uh, so no. their ginger ale tastes a little bit of Coke and they don't have the real Coke. They have they don't even have Pepsi. In fact, fuck it. They don't have Coke. What they have ginger have? ale, orange, oolong tea. They must have Coke. They don't have Coke. Really? Right. Right. Moss Burger is, is, a, is a hamburger fast food uh, chain here in, uh, in Japan. And their burgers are, they're almost wet. Like the, the, the patties are almost falling apart. You ever notice yeah, that? Yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're fucking terrible. Their hot dogs are wet. I don't want to go to a restaurant and get a hot dog like that. I don't know. It's You're just, American. Yeah, but you don't get a fucking, you don't go to a restaurant to get a hot dog. Except for Skyline, but that's not really a hot dog. That's the fucking. Uh, no, this isn't the American Channel fucking fast food, okay? I'm just. Uh, Let's get back to the real facts, okay? All right. So, what what are the facts? <laughs> the facts are. The facts are that I just beat Tom in FIFA. Decisively. No, I won the three one. I won the game before that. I won the two games before that. But I won the. Championship of the Universe game. Which no, you is, did. You lost the last one. Which is the most, which is the most important. But you didn't win that. You lost the last game. No, you have to declare. Tom wanted to get these fucking trophies. Do you made want up. to wear my fucking Tom, dressing gown? Tom or not? wanted to get a trophy made up for our, our Championship of the World. Whoever, whatever fucking was, whoever wins the last game of the night is the Champion of the Universe. And he thinks I'm gonna fucking drag this this trophy back to my apartment every time we fucking play. Because I will always win. Okay, he thinks a trophy's got to be big. A trophy can be... It, it can doesn't be, matter. It can no be matter. a locket What am I going to do? Hold the fucking trophy up in my hand, riding down the street with my bicycle, going like, hey, I got my fucking trophy. Yeah, why not? You'll get a taxi. See, now you're costing me money. A trophy can be a locket of hair. Is that, is, that, is that how far our relationship has gone? You're going to give me a locket of your hair? Well, no, it'd be our hair. And then... Oh. <laughs> what we could do is we could, we could put it... like You know how people collect butterflies and they stick a pin through it? Mm-hmm. We could do I can stick a pin through you? No. Oh. But we could do that with our bodily parts. <laughs> but see, we'll just trim it. We'll just trim our parts. Like, what are our parts? <laughs> Well, I mean, you start off with hair, but then we could go more, more, more romantic and do like a little, a little chiplet of our penis. I can't wait to see what the tags are for this episode. You're circumcised, aren't you? Hashtag Brandon has no foreskin. So I can put my foreskin, I can, I can, I can donate my foreskin. I can donate half of my foreskin. Who the fuck wants to get your foreskin? Maybe you. No. A what person with no foreskin will possibly want my foreskin. You've been telling me this for years, but I don't see why I need a uh, foreskin. Apparently. It, it, everything seems less, to... You have less... Um, That's what you keep telling me, but... Because it's true. Listen, write in. Do you have foreskin? Do you not have foreskin? And if you do... Tell me how good it feels, and if it don't, Dude, I've told tell me you, how, I've how, told how it doesn't feel good. You've got 17 subscribers, and 16 of them are your mom, and one of them's you. Well, my mom doesn't have foreskin, so I feel like I'm going to be the one who wins this argument. But, but she's seen a lot of foreskin in her time. <sighs> and she's seen a lot of un unsheathed. He also said he wanted to blow my dad once. Well, I'm not saying I would want to. I'm saying I would. If the opportunity arose, I would. It's like a pipe. <laughs> you can't you can't help but, like, play a pipe. If a pipe sat over there... Like a harmonica? Yeah. Oh. No, well, no, not harmonica. That's not a pipe. What the fuck is a pipe? Like a... A flute? Like a recorder. Oh. Then why did you say a recorder? Well, because it's a pipe. The Pied Piper of Hamlin... Had a pipe. You know where all the little kids followed? Or was it kids or rats? I think it was rats. No, it was kids. And then 
It was rats. Were there snakes too? He stole all of the children, I think. Well, you guys would get along swimmingly. You're, you're, the, you're the autumn master. I am, aren't I? It's right. um, like the beast master, but you just control like, red leaves and acorns. And squirrels. And squirrels. Okay, so it's the most powerful power of all. Squirrel control. It's like an 80s pop group. There's uh, red squirrels and gray squirrels. And the uh, common one is maybe the gray one. And they're facing extinction. Really? Yeah. Why? Oh, sorry. No, the red ones are facing extinction because the gray ones are eating the red ones. They're eating the squirrels? Well, maybe not. Are they eating their food? <laughs> well, I don't know. They're doing something to the gray. Maybe rape. <laughs> maybe eating. Maybe stealing. Doing something. Raping a squirrel's pretty hard, though. Not if you're a squirrel. That's where I'm always going wrong with it. Yeah. I'm not a squirrel. All right. What? What's uh? Did we do a summary of the uh, ninja? Oh no, we didn't. Uh, so uh, ninja, we'll do thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs Three, up. two, one. Thumbs up. The ninja beer, uh, which is apparently Japanese at heart, but brewed in Belgium. Uh, it is a very crisp, almost tasteless lager. Um, Where did the ninjas sleep? In trees. And why do they sleep in trees? So they're not spotted. Exactly. So if I was a ninja, I wouldn't want people to know where I'm brewing my ninja shit. So I would make a lie up and say brewed in Belgium. Even though it's really brewed in China? Japan. Oh. The Japanese hate the Chinese. They, yeah, but they have, they have China make everything now. In fact, maybe that's even more ninja because the Japanese hate the Chinese. A ninja <laughs> will put... Keep your enemies closer. Keep your friends close, put your enemies closer. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what a ninja would do. Oh, I've opened it. Yeah. So what are we, what are we drinking next? While talking about ninja shit. So I'm going to let you handle this one again. Oh, this is 6%. Wow. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <coughs> what was... Four and a half. Four and a half. What was the other one? Uh, five. So five, four and a half, and six. Six. Hmm. All right. I'm glad I'm pouring this one because someone's going to get a very generous offering of this shitty beer. <sighs> it's not even beer technically. I think it's Popo Show. Is it beer or Popo Show? Get your hands off. All right. This is a uh, Suntree, Suntree beer. Uh, Suntree? Suntory. Why well, would you say this? Suntory. Suntory. Yeah, that's what I fucking said. Suntory. It uh, sounds like something you get down at the general store in the late 1800s. I gotta get my Suntrees. Anything an Englishman says sounds like you can buy it in the late <laughs> 1800s store. So the picture here is of um, I'm going down to autumn, the leaves. Shop. autumn leaves, um, a nice little bridge, mm -hmm. um, some mountains. This actually looks like a, a Hiroshige. Um, it, in fact, it might even be a what? A Hiroshige fucking uh, screen print, screen print, wood block print, wood block, wood print. Hmm. Foie gras. Foie gras. And um, basically, the kanji says. Autumn bridge. No. Autumn's coming. No. End of autumn. No. I actually told you this last week when we bought it. Okay, go on then. Autumn extravagance. That's how it might read to some. To others, it might read as autumn bridge. Sure. It's Akino Zetaka. Oh, what's, what's wrong with the What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you sneezing? Have you drunk too much beer? Moin moin! Don't, don't! What? Don't fucking forget. Can't forget what? Well, he shattered me, though. No. You can't easily forget like that. Because he, he certainly hasn't forgotten. The oh, way he, he fucking sat next to me earlier. 
He's letting me pet him. He knows that. What's the, when he's not? Hold on, you're missing something. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're, you're miss, whoa, whoa. You're missing something. Whoa. Well, now I've got your eight. Well, you know, if we're going to share hair and your dog shit, we well, should share a bit. The video cut out while we were talking about our shit baby. <laughs> that was the best part and the fucking camera got off. You'll uh, never know about our shit baby. You'll never know about our shit baby. Oh fuck me. This this smells like piss from the shit baby. Oof. Cheers. No, I don't want to cheers on that one. Oh, I've got it, I don't want it. Wait, you want the shit, baby? You want your shit, baby? You go in there. You have a shit, baby. You have a shit, baby. Go and have a shit, baby. Oh, he doesn't want the shit, baby. Oh. It's, it's not bad, it's just meh. It's tasting awesome, mate. And it is tasting 6%. I, I love how. Is it woodlandy? Yeah, there's a nutty, oaky. Yes, this one is oaky, the other one was. This one was fruity. Fruity. Yeah. yeah. But this That's one. That's the beginning of autumn. And this one's. This is the end dead, of autumn yeah, when everything's dead, dead, dead and rotting in the fucking pit. You know how like, all the leaves fall off the trees and. They're, Turns they're on the wet mound yeah. of shit, yeah, yeah. That's what this is. Mushy. I can almost smell it. <laughs> smell like the leaves and, and the cow shit burning. Oh. In the fields. Cow shit burning? Yeah, farmers love that shit. They love to burn cow shit. <laughs> they do. They all, in England, they get it in a heap. A cow they just heap. set it on fire? They do, yeah. It's the best way to get rid of cow shit. In fact, some might say the only. I would fact. imagine your dog would eat it if they fucking put it in front of him. My dog eats anything. I know. You laugh at that, but <laughs> it's, it's, he, it's a good trait. We were playing FIFA earlier tonight, and the dog's kind of like hacking on something, and the dog just walks up, vomits on the carpet, and eats it. I don't have a dog, so I'm not used to this. Tom was not phased. Oh, this kid, he's my baby, he's my baby, he's my baby, my baby nose, my baby nose, my baby nose is doing his food. Oh, you got a little bit of a shit baby. Yeah, you got a little bit of a shit baby. Yeah, you got a little bit of a shit baby. Yeah, you got a little bit of a shit baby. You don't have the right to touch him. You don't have the right to touch him. No. Me, 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 me. You can't throw your kids out on the listen, street. You're, listen, he just tried to eat cigarette butts. No, he doesn't eat cigarettes. He was about to. No, he was, he, fucking, that he, was a he was fucking going for him. He's like, mm. well, cigarettes are the only things that he doesn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I've got to the point where I just masturbate on the floor. <laughs> and he, 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 look, the thing is, right? Okay, before I used to deal with like you know tissues and and the like. But basically, he he enjoys he enjoys hoovering it up, and I come in particular. Well, anything, any, any <laughs> like feces, you know. Sometimes I just shit myself down there. I just pull my cat down and have a shit. He learned it by watching you. No, but on a serious note, I do come on the floor now because <laughs> because it's just easier. You know, I, it's clean. It's it, it's hygienic. <laughs> It is. Honestly, it is. Dog Ooh. saliva has anti-bacterial, <laughs> anti-bacterial properties. Properties, yeah. But what about the residue of, of cum? Like no, the, no. Honestly, man, it like I let it all. I let him do my plates as well. <laughs> There's no stopping this this dog's talent. I mean, he's small, but that nozzle can get into small places. As you've found out on several occasions. No, I've never had sexual intercourse or anything sexual with my dog. Are you sure? Oh, I am. He's never like he licked you in the middle of the night when you weren't when you weren't wearing any underwear. Yeah, he has a few times, but that was cleaning. 
Oh. He cleaned me a lot. <laughs> Balls, cock, and... And I clean him inside and out. I like his little pose he's sitting in right now. <laughs> you can't yeah, see him this. That. I told him that. Yeah. It's like, it's like he's leaned over on one leg. If an animal's sexy, that's a sexy animal. If an animal can be sexy. <laughs> Alright. I gotta say, I'm, in, I'm enjoying the... Uh... No, I'm not enjoying this. Your mum, the 17 versions of your mum won't know. <laughs> Do you reckon your mum, like, takes it really seriously? Like, she, for, instead of having, like, 17, like, pseudonames, um, I'm fucking friending me on YouTube or subscribing. Do you think she goes into, like, work and, like, wears a wig and, like, gets into the role of, like, this is what Janet, uh, I think you Fox just trotter. I think you just said because your mother doesn't watch. A little bit, yeah. I, I suppose I am. Yeah. Your mom doesn't care about your comedic performances. She doesn't. No, she doesn't. I think secretly that's why I want to fuck your mom because my mom doesn't care about me. <laughs> so I want the love. It's like a Macbeth, basically. Not a Macbeth. It's like Macbeth. I want to suck on the teeth of love. I did, did were, were you a bottle baby? No. no. You're a titty baby? Yeah, I think that's because um, bottles weren't invented when I was a kid. <laughs> yes, they're a very, very old invention. The, the, the milk are. bottle. They are. Just because it's plastic, you think it's new. I'm going to bet they had glass ones before plastic ones. I'm going to bet they had wooden ones before glass. I'm going to bet they had a fucking leather sack before the, the, the wooden ones. Well, I'm going to be bet that they had nothing before that. I'm going to bet they had fucking titties and they just fucking stuck it in the bitch's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sucked your fucking nut, you fucking shit. Is some a mummified baby in some museum or something? Do you think it could be a kidney stone that it just shaped itself? Uh, I don't like know, but I did go to a museum exhibit once in America that was from China, and it was a bunch of desiccated human bodies, so that you could see like all the individual layers of fat and muscle. And well, isn't that that German guy? I don't know. I thought it came from China. You would, though. I, I thought, don't blame you for thinking that. I thought it came from, like, a Chinese university. Where all I the bodies were desiccated. No, that's definitely, like, the German thing. It's like an art show, isn't it? Artistic. Was it? No, no, well, it was a museum ex exhibition. Yeah. Like kind exhibit. Of, kind of arty. Like, there's a bit of, like, finger painting on the... <laughs> on the cut up carcasses. No, I don't remember finger painting. I don't remember going that far. I'm not saying you finger painted. They were finger painted. Kids were fingering the bodies. Alright then, here's a question. Would you touch a dead body if you saw it in the woods like Stand By Me? No. I mean, you what? what? Product. Touch it with my hand or touch it with like a stick? Well, it's up to you. You're in the forest. You've got a stick and you've got your hand. Well, if I get a stick, yeah, sure. I'm going to poke him see if he's alive. <laughs> why is it different? And why is it him? How? I mean, I'm just wondering. I'm just thinking if you find somebody dead in the woods, yeah. probably a guy. I'd say probably a girl because I would definitely rape and kill a girl and put her in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my logic. Uh, I don't know, it's the fear like, you know, if somebody's going to be out in the woods doing some shit, it's probably going to be a dude. But if you're a murderer that's going to kill someone, mm -hmm. you're probably a dude killing a woman and putting it in the woods. Not necessarily. That's true. So both of us have got valid points here. True. So you're thinking guy, 
Let's call it a girl. Because I've got other questions to ask. Alright, okay. <laughs> so what? Yeah, honestly, you I got it. What I got a what, script what, and I got to work through it. What happens if you're uh, sure that she, he's dead? Like, in other words, like the head's hanging off. So oh, so no there's, no, there's no need for me to... Prod it. Prod it. Right, no, no. There's no. There's no reason to do it. Well, there is. What? Curiosity. I... Listen, curiosity killed the cat. Satisfaction put it back. And I might be a cat. Satisfaction put it back. I'm not touching the body, dead body. I wouldn't touch the dead body unless it was a newly killed woman. Like the died of natural causes. That is terrifying. At the age of 18. That's a terrifying thought. Oh, come off it. Oh. If, like, you saw Angelina Jolie. Dead in the woods? From a heart attack oh. two minutes ago, you wouldn't start prodding him <laughs> with more than a stick. <laughs> That's terrible. It won't answer. Riddle me this. <laughs> if it's sexy with no tits and newly cold, <laughs> what am I? And I'd try to find me sober Or try to work this out My wisdom's in a pint of beer And it's never running out